over the past 24 hours, social media, a lot of you, you were blowing up with expressions of conservative outrage over the Democrats' treatment of Attorney General Bill Barr. I think history will judge you harshly. That conclusion is inescapable. I think you've I've made seen, it clear that you've of, not looked at I've the evidence. We can move on. I think it, you've made it clear, sir, that you've not looked at the evidence, and we can day. move on. That you've not only put your own credibility into question, but seem to be giving sanction to behavior through the language you used in that press conference you held. You lied. And now we know. No. Attorney General of the United States is a sacred trust. You have betrayed that trust. Of course it's all disgusting. It's incredibly nasty, and it's patently unfair. But why would anyone be shocked now, given that these same Democrats, what they did last September to another Trump pick, who also had a stellar legal career? Are you willing to ask the White House to conduct an investigation by the FBI? The FBI would gather witness statements. You have Sir, the witness it's, it's, statements. It's, it's, it, they don't I'm not, make... I don't want to debate with you how they do their business. She's not part of the Clintons' efforts to get some kind of revenge. She is a woman who came here with corroborating evidence to tell her truth. Is that a Thank question? You. No, sir. It was a final statement. I was obsessed with so you the were not basketball a, player. I only have 23 seconds. So you were not a uh, sloppy drunk, and so your roommate was lying. Now, remember, Ms. Blasey Ford's decades-old allegations, they came to light only after some anonymous committee Democrat leaked her letter, leading Blasey Ford herself to reveal her identity to The Washington Post. Well, similarly, on Tuesday, right before Barr's testimony, the Mueller letter was leaked to, of course, The Washington Post. Stay with me here. Now, the bottom line is, when the Democrats cannot win on the merits, on the substance, what do they do? They want to end the debate. Go right for the jugular. I strongly believe Judge Kavanaugh should withdraw from consideration, and the president should withdraw this nomination if Kavanaugh won't do it voluntarily. I join Leader Schumer in calling for Judge Kavanaugh to withdraw his name from consideration. I think the nomination should be withdrawn. Of course, Kavanaugh remained defiant, and he refused to back down to those Democrats, and now he has a lifetime tenure on the Supreme Court. The Democrats crashed and burned on Kavanaugh. But not only did their stunts flop, their stunt actors were actually frauds and criminals. A lot of this would be substantiated if there was an investigation, which is what we want. We're not, we are not uh, laying out all of the facts and all the evidence right now. That's not our obligation. Committee Chairman Chuck Grassley referred Avenatti and Swetnick last week to the Justice Department for criminal investigation. If convicted of the 36 crimes alleged in the indictment, Mr. Avenatti would face a statutory maximum sentence of 333 years in federal prison. Avenatti was practically co-hosting shows on CNN, wasn't he? But seven months later, here we are. And Democrats facing another brilliant legal mind with impeccable credentials. They went back to the prop closet once again. Chicken Barr should have shown up today and answered questions. He was afraid of Barry Burke. He was afraid of Norm Eisen. A attorney general who is picked for his legal acumen and his abilities would not be fearful of any other attorneys questioning him for 30 minutes. Does he sleep with that chicken? I didn't know it was pronounced acumen. I guess I'm wrong. Well, the real chickens are the Democrats, who are too afraid to admit that they got it all wrong on Russian collusion. And you know what else? They're too afraid to actually advance an agenda to defend whatever policies they, they want to forward now in the midst of a roaring Trump economy. That's actually hard stuff. So what do they do? They just re revert to their same old sleazy tactics, which we've exposed, by the way, and documented for all of you. You know, with, 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 not with no glee, but we've had to document it because it's really important night after night, week after week on this show. And just like with Kavanaugh, they are now calling for someone else's head on a platter. I think that Attorney General William Barr ought to recognize that he has an obligation to resign. He has burned through any credibility he had uh, in that role, and he should resign. I think he should resign. And I think that he has made it very clear that, one, he, has an, he is not able to perform his duties. 
Remember, by the way, that both Kavanaugh and Barr are Bush Republicans. So when you think it's just all about Trump, to anyone who's connected to this administration, this always shifts around. If you have an R after your name, they're going to go after you. But my prediction, the more Barr learns about who and what were behind the 2016 efforts to smear Trump as some type of Russian collaborator, the nastier and more desperate the Democrats' attacks on Barr will become. I don't want to be too specific. Uh, I talked to, uh, to Mike Horowitz a few weeks ago about it, and it's focused on the FISA, the basis for the FISA and the handling of the FISA uh, applications. But by necessity, it looks back a little bit earlier than that. Mm, there must be a lot of Obama Democrats in and out of the deep state who are sweating now. They need Barr's reputation to be tarnished. That way, whatever Barr ultimately concludes about the Obama DOJ can just be written off as some mere piece of pro-Trump propaganda. They have to do that now. It's what this is all about. Now, if Hillary and company had maybe spent more time trying to out-debate Trump on the big issues of the day rather than funding phony dossiers, paying all that money to Fusion GPS, maybe she would have fared better in the last election. I don't know. And if Democrats today focus more on improving the lives of everyday Americans instead of acting out their silly scenes in like a Kill Bill sequel, maybe they would have more to show for their first 100 days of House rule than just ridiculous subpoenas and character assassination. I'm betting tonight that Americans prefer substance and poise over stunts and noise any day. And that's the angle.